Let's get right into it. Number 7. The Universe's Accounting Error According to physics, you, me, this planet, and everything we see shouldn't be here. When the universe was born, it made matter and antimatter in equal amounts. Whenever matter and antimatter meet, they destroy each other completely, leaving nothing but pure energy. So if the universe made equal amounts of both, everything should have canceled out. The whole universe should just be empty space filled with light. But something went wrong. For every billion particles of antimatter, there was a billion and one particles of matter. That tiny 0.000001% difference, that cosmic accounting error, is what made everything. Scientists have no idea why this happened. They know it must have happened, because we exist, but they can't figure out how. It's like walking into a room where someone's baked a thousand cookies. The recipe clearly says it should make zero cookies. The ingredients only add up to zero cookies. But there they are, a thousand cookies, sitting there. Some scientists think maybe the universe just started with more matter than antimatter. Others think there are huge regions of antimatter somewhere in the universe. But we would see the fireworks where matter and antimatter meet, and we don't. This isn't just some minor detail scientists can't figure out. This is the biggest mystery in physics. Because if that tiny extra bit of matter hadn't survived, nothing would exist. No stars, no planets, no Earth, no you. Just a void of pure energy. Forever. Your very existence breaks physics so badly that the smartest people on Earth have spent decades trying to figure out how you're even possible. Number 6. The Higgs boson. The Higgs boson's mass is exactly 126 GeV or 126 billion electron volts. And that number is terrifying. It's perfectly wrong. It's like someone balanced our entire universe on a knife's edge. If the Higgs boson was just a tiny bit lighter or heavier, we wouldn't exist. Our universe is in what physicists call a false vacuum state. Think of it like being at the top of a hill, thinking you're safe. But there's actually a much deeper valley on the other side. Through something called quantum tunneling, our universe could suddenly realize it's not in its lowest energy state. When that happens, a bubble of true vacuum would form somewhere in space. This bubble would expand at the speed of light, destroying everything it touches. Not just destroying, it would rewrite the laws of physics themselves. Since this bubble would move at light speed, we wouldn't get any warning. One second everything's fine, the next, reality as we know it ends. According to calculations, we're actually pretty lucky. The odds of our universe lasting this long with such an unstable Higgs mass are incredibly small. It's like we've been playing cosmic Russian roulette for 13.8 billion years and somehow haven't lost yet. Number 5. Ultra-high energy cosmic rays. Imagine getting hit by a single particle that has the same energy as a tennis ball flying at 60 miles per hour. These cosmic rays are so powerful that when scientists first detected them, they thought their equipment was broken. But these things are real, and they're breaking the laws of physics as we know them. The most powerful particle accelerator we've ever built, the Large Hadron Collider, can smash particles together at incredible energies. But these cosmic rays are millions of times more powerful. It's like comparing a water pistol to a nuclear bomb. And their origin is a complete mystery. According to our current understanding of physics, nothing in the universe should be able to accelerate particles to these energies. Even the most violent events we know of, like exploding stars or black holes, aren't powerful enough. When they hit Earth's atmosphere, they create a shower of particles so massive that it can spread out over several miles. Imagine dropping a water balloon from space, and when it hits the ground, the splash covers an entire city. Scientists have built massive detectors to catch these things. The Pierre Auguet Observatory in Argentina is spread out over 1,200 square miles. That's like turning Rhode Island into one giant cosmic ray detector. And even with all this equipment, we only catch a handful of these super-powerful rays each year. These particles should be destroyed by their interaction with the cosmic microwave background radiation, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. It's like trying to run through a wall of bricks. You're not supposed to make it to the other side. But somehow, these particles are showing up at our doorstep anyway, completely ignoring the rules of physics. Number 4. The Proton Radius Puzzle Imagine measuring your cat with a regular ruler and then with a fancy laser tool but you get two completely different sizes. That's exactly what happened when scientists tried to measure the proton. Scientists have been measuring protons for decades using electrons. They shoot electrons at protons like tiny bullets and watch how they bounce off. It's like throwing tennis balls at your sleeping roommate to figure out how big they are. For years, everyone agreed the proton was about 0.88 femtometers wide. That's so tiny that if you made a proton the size of a blueberry, 
an actual blueberry would be about the size of the entire solar system. But then scientists tried measuring it with muons instead of electrons. Muons are like electrons' bigger, heavier cousins. Think of them as bowling balls instead of tennis balls. The muon measurements showed the proton was significantly smaller, about 0.84 femtometers. In the world of physics, this is like measuring your height and finding out you're simultaneously 5 feet and 6 feet tall. Both measurements are extremely precise. It's like measuring the width of a human hair from a mile away, and they both insist they're right. So either our understanding of the most basic building blocks of matter is wrong, or reality itself is gaslighting us. Number 3. The Axis of Evil Imagine looking at a photo of the entire universe as a baby. That's basically what scientists did when they looked at something called the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation is like a baby picture of our universe, taken just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. According to our best physics theories, this baby picture should look pretty much the same everywhere. Kind of like how if you zoom out far enough, the ocean looks flat and uniform. But when scientists actually looked at this picture, they found something weird. There's this mysterious alignment of temperature patterns that shouldn't be there. And these patterns line up perfectly with our solar system's plane. It's like finding out that your random baby photo has a hidden message pointing directly to your current address. Scientists called this the axis of evil because it's basically contradicting one of our most important ideas about the universe. We've always thought that Earth isn't special. We're just one random planet orbiting one random star in one random galaxy. But this axis is suggesting we might not be so random after all. Some scientists think it's just a coincidence, like seeing shapes in clouds. Others think our instruments might be playing tricks on us. But every time scientists look at this thing with better instruments, it's still there, staring back at us. There's a massive pattern in the sky that shouldn't exist, pointing right at us, and nobody knows why. Number 2. White Holes White holes are like black holes in reverse, a cosmic fire hose blasting matter and energy into space instead of sucking everything in. According to Einstein's equations, the same ones that predicted black holes, white holes should exist. They're what you get when you run the math of a black hole backwards. But white holes break one of the most fundamental rules of the universe. Things should get more chaotic over time, not less. It's like a broken egg spontaneously reassembling itself and jumping back into your hand, or taking a baked cake and somehow reversing it back into raw eggs, flour, and sugar. If one of these actually appeared, they'd be incredibly violent. All the energy and matter that a black hole ever consumed would be violently ejected back into space in a cosmic fireworks show. But you could never reach a white hole, not because it's too far away, but because the mathematics say it's impossible. It's like trying to catch up to yesterday. Some scientists think the Big Bang was actually a white hole, an explosion of matter and energy from a single point, creating everything we see around us. We might all be living in the aftermath of the universe's biggest reverse event. Number 1. The star with no business existing. There's this star system called HD 150136 that's basically defying physics. Picture three massive stars, each one way bigger than our sun, dancing around each other so close that our rules for gravity say they should have crashed into each other ages ago. The two closest stars in this system orbit each other every 2.67 days, closer to each other than Mercury is to the sun. These stars are so massive and so close that their gravity should be like two sumo wrestlers in a kiddie pool. The smallest star is 27 times more massive than our sun. The biggest one is 64 times more massive. It's like having three heavyweight boxers trying to waltz in a phone booth without hitting each other. And there's a third star circling this already impossible duo. This whole system is basically the astronomical equivalent of someone juggling chainsaws while riding a unicycle on a tightrope blindfolded. Scientists have been scratching their heads trying to figure out how this cosmic circus act is even possible. But for now, HD 150136 sits out there in space breaking all the rules, proving that sometimes the universe just likes to mess with our heads. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.